Leave us the news wherever the big news story is happening. We'll get up to break it. Leave us the news first with breaking. Welcome to Marketing Edge on TV, Nigeria's leading initiative in the business of brand management and the management of brand business. It is a 30-minute potpourri of brand news, branding focus, industry conversation, all aimed at promoting the brand idea. My name is Dilly Agadumo. It's insightful. It's exciting. It's enriching. It's Marketing Edge on TV, a half hour TV show on the business of brand management and the management of brand business. Marketing Edge on TV is a potpourri of juicy and exclusive industry news on brands, advertising, media, PR, brand and focus, industry conversation, and the entire gamut of integrated marketing communications business. It's a business show with glamour and grandeur. We serve you hot and sizzling with all ingredients in the mix. Marketing Edge on TV, promoting the brand ideal. Welcome to Brand News on Marketing Edge on TV. Experts and top professionals in the Nigeria integrated marketing communication sector last week set an agenda for the industry with a view to enabling players and gladiators in the sector positioned for strategic competitiveness in the new year. Tagged strategic positioning in a competitive marketing environment, challenges and opportunities for a media product in the age of new normal. The experts cutting across different sectors painstakingly diagnose the sector with robust options and counseling on moving the industry forward, notwithstanding the COVID-19 pandemic and its rampaging onslaught. The conference was the second in the series to be organized by Marketing Edge, a foremost agenda-setting marketing and brand-focused magazine. It was the leading publication's way of building capacity for its workforce while impacting on the industry, especially at a critical time of the new normal that has imposed certain business imperatives on corporate organizations globally. The conference was facilitated by notable figures from media and the integrated marketing communications industry, including Managing Director CEO O2 Academy, Ozuemena Mbanefo, Specialized Nutrition Director, Friesland Campina Wamko, Dolapo Otebai, Group Managing Director, Republican Group, Tuji Adeyinka, Managing Director, CEO, Brands Optimal, Otis Ojekwa, Executive Director, Media Career Development Network, Lekon Otufoduri, and Media Director, M778NG, Lekon Lawao. Nigeria's leading pay TV operator, MultiChoice Nigeria, has announced the headline sponsor for the highly anticipated sixth season of the Nigerian Idol. It stated that Right Foods Limited, manufacturers of Biggie Soft Drinks, is the headline sponsor of the music reality show. In December 2020, MultiChoice Nigeria made known to the public that it was bringing back the highly rated music reality show and a bigger winner's prize that includes a recording contract and 50 million naira worth of prizes. Speaking on this, Channel Director Emnet Wangi Mba Uzoku said, we are pleased to welcome Biggie as our headline sponsor on this exciting project. The Nigerian music landscape is one with a lot of promise. We want to play a part in making sure we help build that industry. Facebook has announced the launch in Nigeria of Marketplace, a convenient destination where people can discover, buy and sell items from others in their local communities. Available in South Africa, 
Ethiopia and Kenya. Nigeria joins the growing list of countries where people can simply tap on the marketplace icon on or visit www.facebook.com forward slash marketplace to browse and search for items, sought based on distance or category. Commenting, Adara Ikenze, head of public policy for Anglophone West Africa, said, the launch of Marketplace in Nigeria for the highlights are ongoing efforts in helping to boost buying and selling in Nigeria and connecting communities. This comes at a crucial time as the effects of the COVID-19 pandemic continues to impact people and businesses. And with many people buying and selling on Facebook, this will provide people with a convenient destination where they can discover new products, shop for things they want, or find buyers for the things they are ready to part with. Pfizer, one of the world's premier biopharmaceutical companies, says it expects to generate $15 billion, or about a quarter of its total revenue this year, from the sale of its COVID-19 vaccine, co-developed with German partner BioNTech. The drug maker is striving to deliver 2 billion doses of the vaccine in 2021 at a breakneck pace as countries rush to sign supply deals in an effort to control a pandemic that has reportedly killed over 2 million people globally. Pfizer said its forecast could go higher if the company signs more supply contracts. 2021 earnings and sales will see a significant benefit from the vaccine and this benefit could increase throughout the year, said Edward Jones analyst Ashton Evans. Supply of the vaccine, however, has faced delays in parts of Europe due to changes in manufacturing processes in order to boost production. BioNTech said on Monday the companies were back on track to meet their European timeline. This is a public service announcement on your national identification number, NIN. First, dial star 346 hash to get your NIN and write it down. This will enable you link your NIN to all your numbers easily. You can now use any of these four ways to link your NIN to all your MTN lines. One, dial star 785 star NIN hash. Two, visit my MTN app. Three, visit www.nin.mtnonline.com. Four, text your NIN number to 785. Remember, this includes your data sims and other alternate lines. For those without NIN, visit the NIMSI website to find a registration location. Avoid disconnection. Link your NIN to all your MTN lines before 9th February 2021. To brand in focus on marketing edge on TV. The publishing industry is undergoing yet another period of dramatic upheaval as new policy shifts among the tech giants further limit the ability of publishers to target ads using third party data or identifiers. As publishers wrestle with the implications of such shifts, they are exploring a number of paths towards continued sustainability from subscription models to newsletters to refined targeting within their advertising opportunities. There is no silver bullet when it comes to monetization in the publishing industry. Rather, continued viability will rely on a blend of new tactics, all coalescing to strengthen a publisher's bottom line alongside their audience engagement. Given the necessary pivot away from third-party data, all publisher initiatives need to be undertaken in a way that increases their control over their reader relationships while strengthening their first-party data assets for the future. Most publishers today are trying to figure out the ideal balance of subscription and advertising revenues for their businesses. According to a recent study, an astounding 84.1% of consumers 
say they are unwilling to pay for newsletters, even for the type of content they like most. Along these lines, 79.6% of respondents say they would prefer to access ad-supported content for free rather than pay for ad-free content. In other words, even though consumers are increasingly turning to newsletters as means of cutting through the clutter of content in their social media feeds, they still expect these experiences to be underwritten by advertising. Thus, within the publishing model for the future, advertising is not dead, but it will have to be handled differently in a media environment where first-party data rules. For publishers with blended subscription and advertising models, newsletters will continue to play an important role in maintaining reader relationships, and publishers need to ensure they own all aspects of those relationships. In the past, the advertising portion of newsletters has been largely outsourced to ad networks by most publishers. Going forward, however, Publishers need to ensure that their ad monetization and subscription management efforts are aligned in a way that gives them a more complete view of their audiences. They should endeavor to bring newsletter advertising under their control so as to improve the performance of the ads themselves. By tapping into tools that enable publishers to control newsletter advertising within the same workflow as newsletter building, Publishers can save time and resources while reducing the likelihood of templates breaking or rendering awkwardly within certain email clients. In 2021, despite the overbearing presence of tech giants like Facebook, Twitter, and Google, publishers should continue to refine and improve their monetization models as it relates to both subscriptions and advertising as these monetization strategies are not at odds with one another. Rather, they are overlapping paths along which publishers can gain a stronger understanding of their readers for the future. By bringing greater control into the advertising and subscription management of a media organization's newsletter, publishers can align their efforts for optimal results in a world driven by first-party data. And that was Brandon Focus on Marketing Edge on TV. It's insightful. It's exciting. It's enriching. It's Marketing Edge on TV, a hub art TV show on the business of brand management and the management of brand business. Marketing Edge on TV is a potpourri of juicy and exclusive industry news on brands, advertising, media, PR, brand and focus, industry conversation, and the entire gamut of integrated marketing communications business. It's a business show with glamour and grandeur. We serve you hot and sizzling with all ingredients in the mix. Marketing Edge on TV, promoting the brand ideal. Dear customer, link your Airtel number to your national identification number today. Here are easy ways you can do it. Dial star 121 star 1 hash on your Airtel line and follow the prompts on the screen. Type in your 11-digit government-approved NIN number. You will receive a confirmation message to confirm your entry. You can also visit www.airtel.com.ng forward slash NIN to link your phone number to your NIN. If you do not know your NIN, simply dial star 346 hash to get it. No stress, no wahala. Airtel, the smartphone network. Good day, everyone. We welcome you to another exciting segment of Marketing Edge on TV. My name is Zion Veronica Rufus, and I have here with me Mrs. Dolapo Otegbaye. Mrs. Dolapo Otegbaye is a specialized nutrition director with over 21 years of experience working alongside the management team of the foremost dairy company in Nigeria, Frisland Campina. So, madam, how are you today? Fine, thank you. And thank you for joining us. Nice to be here. So, how will you assess the marketing environment vis-a-vis -vis brand owners' efforts to get consumer attention amid COVID-19? 
Well, thank you very much for that question. Yeah. Um, for me, uh, if I look at last year, 2020, um, across the industry and amongst brands, I think uh, the brands also played their roles and their quotas. It also shows that um, brand is, is more than um, objects, goods, services alone, but brands have also become personalized. Okay. I saw a lot of purposeful soup brands in the course of 2020 mm. reaching out to their consumers, empathizing with them, um, recognizing the difficulties of the year, and also supporting them in various ways. Okay, so it says here that you specialize in business strategy, product innovation, marketing research, content management, content marketing, branding, digital media, and a lot more. So how would you assess brands and advertisers' strategies in their quest to, be, to boost profitability and growth? Uh, well, um, thanks for that question. I would say, um, First and foremost, for brands, while the ultimate is to make the stakeholders happy, that's the shareholders, ultimately, but for me, for every brand to be in existence and survival is all about the consumers. True. Brands must always drive value with their consumers. And we've gone beyond just brand building, traditional brand building. It's okay. all about building purposeful brands and purposeful associations with our consumers. So I wouldn't always like to put profit first, okay. but I would like to rather say that um, it's about empathizing and connecting with the consumers by delivering value to consumers. Okay, so would you say um, most brands in Nigeria have not breached that gap between them and the consumers? Would you say they are not entirely consumer-centric? No, I think over the years, brands have evolved. And uh, across various categories and various segments, various industries, I've come to admire and appreciate a lot of brands that are really connecting um, and building okay. purpose with their consumers. Okay. So what, I, what I'm trying to say is that ultimately is about shareholders. It's about delivering value to the shareholders. shareholders. Okay. But nevertheless, without the consumers, so consumers are king. And we brand needs to always explore every avenue and touch points of connecting and driving value with consumers because okay. ultimately that translates to value for shareholders. True, true. So um, in your profile, it says you are actually very, very um, concerned when it comes to inspiring Nigerian youths. So what would you say or how would you say Nigerian youths are lagging behind in the atmosphere of branding, marketing, communications and um, advertising? <sighs> Thanks for that question. <laughs> I will tell you that Nigerian youths are not lagging behind. Okay. No. Nigerian youths are very innovative. Okay. They are very passionate. Okay. They are very authentic. And they are driving value. But so yeah. across all spheres, Nigerian youths are entrepreneurs. You can see the, the quantity and the quality of content that they are churning out on a daily basis. Daily basis. Yes. Okay. So for me, I think what they need is the right platform. Okay. They need the enablers. They need the support, they need the empowerment in order to help to accelerate the good work that they are doing. Okay. Yeah, and to be honest with you, I, I also believe that many brands at the moment are also supporting Nigerian youth. Yeah, it's true. Because I see across the social media platforms, many brands are associating, recognizing, um, supporting, contributing, partnering with okay. quite a lot of Nigerian youths you know, to help in the brand building um, ambition. Okay, um, speaking of acceleration, um, with the advent of COVID-19 and how 2020 was actually a very dram dramatic year, um, how would you say your brand has remained um, formidable with all the new trends and all the hassles and challenges that COVID-19 brought? Thank you very much. Um, as I said earlier on, I, I, for covid um, during the time of COVID, for me, uh, a winning brand is an empathic brand, okay. a brand that is empathetic. And while um, overall, because I work in um, FMCG, we, I work for a dairy company, okay. and 
also the brand has been part of the lives of Nigerians for over 60 years. Uh, directly or indirectly, it has helped to nourish um, Nigerian families, families provide right. the relevant nutrients. But beyond that, I have also been part of the team that went out. We've supported many families and our households, okay. um, giving out uh, free products, uh, supporting them. There were quite a few programs that was executed last year okay. that really reached to as many consumers all over Nigeria. Mm. And we've also supported um, government as well awesome. in the free distribution of milk during COVID. Okay. So, um, you know, people say um, the future is digital. Or more or less, the future is digital and the, future, um, and the digital is now. The future is now, yes. yes. Let me put it that way. So how, how has your, your brand remained um, formidable and strengthened by leveraging the digital platform? Thanks for that. Um, for, I believe that it's the brand's prerogative to follow the consumers in their journey. Okay. So wherever consumers go, we should be there. And one thing I would also like to say is that digital itself is an enabler okay. and not necessarily only a platform. So right from the way we think, what we do, how we act, um, even within the company and, and all through the consumer journey and the entire system value chain as well, digital has become an integral part integral, of it. Integral, of course. Yes. So in, in, in the production process, in the ways of working, digital is key, is core. It's but in addition to that, connecting with the consumers as well, several digital platforms has become relevant in their journeys, okay. in the brand journey to reaching um, the consumers. Okay, so um, what would you say are the ethics and the concepts that have driven you so far as a person and as a brand? Um, passion. Okay. Authentic, original, hmm. empathy, um, inspiring right. as well. Um, leave, leave your brand, be who you are. So more like um, originality Origin. and practicing what you preach yes. as a brand. Yes. So going forward, how do you think, what are your projections for 2021? Uh, well, um, 2020 provides us as a, a new normal. Um, I don't see us going back again. Of course. But rather, um, it, it depends on how you latch on to the opportunities. True. I always say that I don't see challenges. There shouldn't be any challenge. Any challenge. Uh, there, there are only opportunities. Harnessing these opportunities then becomes the responsibility of whether individuals, brands, companies, um, and the rest of it. I believe that with the new normal, there are new innovations, whether it's technic in terms of technology, technology, digital, but also even in the traditional ways of doing things as well. I think we've all come to um, be to, to be in tune okay. with new possibilities. Okay, it says in 2018, Miss Dolapo was honored with the Marketing Thought Leader Award, and she is also a member of Advertising Council of Nigeria and fellow of, Na of National Institutes of Marketing of Nigeria. So, um, with all those um, awards and recognitions, what would be your advice to Nigerian youths, especially how you mentioned that they've been contributing value so far? The envir Nigerian environment is volatile, is uncertain, is complex, is ambiguous. Okay. So we use the word VUCA. Okay. The Nigerian environment is, is VUCA in itself. I would say follow your dreams, never give up. Never give up. Um, keep trying, keep trying. It, it does, it's not always hitting it and running with it the first time. Uh, be original, be authentic, never give up. And um, yeah. Never walk alone. So carry as many people along as you possible. Can. Yes. Okay. Thank you very much, Ms. Delapo Otegbayi, for joining us. Marketing Legend TV will be right back.
It's insightful. It's exciting. It's enriching. It's Marketing Edge on TV, a hub art TV show on the business of brand management and the management of brand business. Marketing Edge on TV is a potpourri of juicy and exclusive industry news on brands, advertising, media, PR, brand and focus, industry conversation, and the entire gamut of integrated marketing communications business. It's a business show with glamour and grandeur. We serve you hot and sizzling with all ingredients in the mix. Marketing Edge on TV, promoting the brand ideal. Well, that has been our package this week on Marketing Edge on TV. And we sure hope that you have enjoyed the package. Be sure to join us again next week for another edition of the program. Thank you for watching. My name is Dele Agaduma. technology and competence. The Corporate Affairs Commission, CAC, is fast changing the business environment through various reforms initiatives. Do you know that today you can register your business name, limited liability company, NGO, as well as other registration services online directly without an agent? Do you know that CAC certificate now comes with automatic FIRS T number? For these and more innovations, keep a date with us on CAC Weekly every Wednesday at 3.30 p.m. on TVC News, Channel 418 on DSTV and Channel 307 on Star Times. Keep a date with us. Housing is fundamental to the physical, mental, social well-being and quality of life. In Nigeria, a large proportion of people live in slums and unplanned settlement because of their inability to own a house or rent decent accommodation. On this program, I analyze the challenges affecting the housing sector with stakeholders to provide solutions. I don't think that anybody can pretend that we're going to close the 17 million homes gap in five years. Each episode gives and insights into the housing plights of Nigerians. The gate man here needs a house as much as the millionaire who is driving past there needs a house. How can the housing sector be made better? Would the dream of owning a house by an average Nigerian be achieved? What strategies are the government putting in place to provide affordable and decent housing for all? Let's bring you up to speed on the happenings in the housing sector. Keep a date. Communications, Nigeria's leading independent broadcast company, has been officially designated as a great place to work. Over the past three years, we have transformed our workplace into one which is respectful, caring, rewarding, and provides great benefits to all our 500 employees. We thank our team for giving us the chance to show that partnership between employer and employee really works. TVC Communications, officially designated as a great place to work. And now, the only broadcasting and media company, not just in Nigeria, but throughout continental Africa, to be fully certified. TVC Communications, a great Nigerian company, a great Nigerian place to work. At 
TVC News, wherever the big news story is happening, we're geared up to break it. TVC News, first with breaking news.